Okay guys, I'm gonna do a get ready with me today. And yeah, I just came out of the shower. Um, I need moisturization and yeah, I was inspired by a few YouTubers to do this. Um, Winnie B. LV and Jerusha Katua have recently done get ready with me videos. So yeah, and I thought I'd talk about just, you know, random things. Before I went in the shower, guys, I cleansed with um, this Gentle Clean from Aspect. And my face is super dry right now, so I have to get it hydrated. At night, I use this Retinol Brulee, just a little bit, uh, before I go to bed. But I won't use that now. So I've got some... Ugh, it's got toothpaste on it. Some Extreme C... 20 serum. It's not sponsored, guys. This is the stuff I use. Um, Jungle Brew, which helps me with my pimples. Um, I also have Extreme B17, which I like using. And I don't use them all at the same time every day. Sometimes I just kind of alternate. And I also like to use this um, eye cream. It's called Cosmetics Opti Crystal, and it's like an iridescent. Um, eye cream. I'll show you guys later. Um, I really need to get my nails done today as well, so just excuse that. So first I think I'm going to put on just a pump of B. Just uh, pop that on my face. I've got this massive like kind of scab here because I had a really big pimple I think from stress. Um, I have been getting pimples ever since I was like literally 11 years old. And it's definitely been something that has affected um, my life. But now that I'm 30, I'm kind of like, kind of accepting on my skin, I guess. And I found ways to um, just improve it. I do see a facial lady sometimes who kind of extracts any block pores on my face. And she really got me on a good kind of skincare routine. And um, yeah. I also sometimes at night, when because I, I like to wear makeup, I'll remove my makeup with uh, the Jehovah oil because I find that that doesn't strip my skin. If I use those like makeup remover wipes, <clears throat> it like really, I don't know, affects my skin. So I don't use that. And then after I've applied all those serums, I just add some phosphate 9. And I have to buy, I used to have this um, moisturizer which had sunscreen in it and I honestly need to buy that again because I'm using the retinol, you should use sun protection on your face. But my, um, my, what is it? My foundation has a bit of SPF in it so that's why I don't really bother too much but I think it would be good for me especially now that I'm getting older, I need to use more sun care protection. Yeah, so just flip all that in and then this eye cream. And guys, I think I, I started using this eyelash serum. I think it's helping a little bit, but probably not much. Anyway, guys, I went for a jog this morning, which was really, really nice. Um, I try and always go jogging every morning, um, but sometimes it's really too cold because I have to literally get up at 5.30 to be able to have time to go jogging. And also in winter, it's really scary going jogging because it's still really dark. So I joined the gym so I could start jogging um, on the treadmill, but I really hate the treadmill. It's, I find it like torturous, honestly. Um, so today, luckily I could just, sometimes I put an eye cream on my lips because it just, I don't know, it feels nice. Cause sometimes I squirt too. This is like literally iridescent. Like, can you see that? Yeah, it was quite. This was quite expensive, but I think it does kind of nourish my eyes somewhat. And I put on my eyelids as well because I find like my eyelids get dry sometimes. Anyway, I found that like joining the gym, I I think I need to learn how to use the equipment and stuff because I'm finding the treadmill like so boring at the gym whereas running outside to me is like pretty good it's not like obviously it's hard as well but it's not as uh monotonous as just running on a treadmill and my gym in particular is really i don't i feel like the vibe is really boring there's no like something there's nothing to like get you going or pumped up yeah but 
I think exercise is important. I kind of stopped doing it for a little while because I really, um, I kind of used to overdo it, I think, with, um, I used to do Bikram yoga from the age of about 22 to about 28. So that's when you're in a hot room, um, about 40 degrees almost, and you're kind of standing in front of a mirror and you do kind of different postures for about an hour and a half. And I was doing that probably almost every day and I really liked it, but it got to a point after, you know, five years or so, I kind of got sick of it and I found that I was getting a lot of health problems as well. I don't think I was drinking enough uh, water. Yeah, so I stopped doing Bikram yoga and there was also a lot of controversy about, you know, Bikram and it's kind of a bit of a cult. It, it is kind of, guys. Like, I actually wanted to be a Bikram yoga teacher and go to Mexico at one stage. I, I actually saved all my money to go fly overseas and be a yoga teacher. That was my goal. Um, and then, I don't know, it, seemed, it didn't seem right and... Uh, well, I just continued working in my job now and I guess, yeah, that's, I took a different path. I didn't, I was going to be like a yoga teacher, but I'm, I'm not sure what I want to be now. I guess, yeah, I can't really tell you too much about my private life, but yeah, I, I am enjoying making the YouTubes. I don't really see this as a job for me. This has just been like a creative outlet, which I really like, but I do really like, I don't know. I would love to do something that would help people mentally as well. Like, I think yoga is really good. I don't do practice yoga anymore, but I know even just getting up in the morning. One of the smartest things, well, the best bit of advice I got when I was like 13, um, I was kind of, I, I was a little bit depressed. I think because, you know, when you're a teenager, you go through puberty and everything. And the doctor said to me, she was like a Chinese doctor, and she told me just get up in the morning um, before seven and go for a 10 minute jog. Um, and, you know, breathe in the trees and the pollen and 10 minutes is all you need and it will make you feel much happier. And guys, ever since I got up in the morning and it just went for a 10 minute jog when I was 13, cause I had asthma as well, so I didn't find jogging that easy. Um, it completely changed my life. Like something as small as that. Sometimes there are things in your life that are free, which just give you so much more happiness than, you know, material possessions, which is something that, yeah, I probably need to come to terms with as well. And I think, well, I'm blabbing now, but let me just get onto the makeup. I've just, I need to let this kind of dry. I have, I, I put way too much eye cream on guys. I wanted to show you the iridescence of it, but you know, I've got this little pimple here, which um, I picked, which is not advisable. I wouldn't really say you should pick your face. That is also something that's a little bit self-destructive about me. If I see a pimple, I have to go crazy on it, which, and honestly, guys, just spreads the bacteria everywhere and it's probably going to give you more pimples. So to correct the redness, I'm going to use some green kind of stuff. And I'm just going to use like a fine brush to kind of paint on the green so it corrects the redness. <clears throat> oh, I think I used black on this before. Oh, jeez. I think I used this as an eyeliner. Maybe I'll just, I'm just going to do it with my finger, guys. But I wanted to be fancy with the brushes. But I usually do use a brush, but I couldn't find the brush that I usually use. Because I don't always put green on my face. It's only if I have like a significant bit of redness and yeah with the eyelash serum I just put it on at night I don't put it on in the day because it says I need to put it on at night I have this red mark here from like a previous pimple that it kind of scarred my face I didn't really scar it just left a red mark which uh, the red marks do fade over time I was lucky that I never had that um that kind of like acne which left the scars that give you kind of dints I do have an uh, inconsistent kind of skin tone. This was probably for my mask, this little pimple. <laughs> um, but it's not, oh, that looks really bad right now. It's not too bad for me anyway. <laughs> yeah, so I think for myself, what's important is finding things that make me happy and balanced. And it's a little bit cliche, but you know, 
a lot of people will say you can't buy happiness and I think that is true because if you if even if you did have like billions of dollars and you could buy yourself you know plastic surgery or whatever you still have to have that inner peace with inside yourself because otherwise it sounds so lame but otherwise you're just not going to be able to appreciate what you have so you kind of don't really even need that much to feel that you know I was listening to an interview with uh, Kurt Cobain <laughs> yesterday. It's like some celebrity documentary, and there was uh, they asked him whether he thought that money bought him happiness. And you, you know, I'm sure you guys are aware that he was pretty d depressed. He had a lot of stomach issues as well, which I actually have stomach issues too because I don't really know why. It could be something to do with my emotions, but. Um, he said, yeah, at the start, definitely having a lot of wealth, he could buy, you know, whatever he wanted. It was great. He felt happy, but it wasn't, he said he probably felt just as happy finding a little gem in the thrift store when he was not as famous, you know? And I think in a way that kind of made sense to me. This is Chanel concealer, guys, so I'm just putting it... You guys probably think this is too much concealer, but I don't really use heavy foundation, so I kind of just blot this on like the different areas on my face, which I think need covering. Yeah, so that kind of spoke to me a little bit because <clears throat> I didn't really stumble into heaps of money recently or anything, but I do find that the last few years I'm definitely buying more luxe items and I think subconsciously I thought that would make me happier buying really expensive items because they're so you know hard to get and you have to work so hard to well I have to work so hard to uh, you know save up for them and some of you guys asked how I save up for items guys and honestly I <sighs> I probably spend too much. I've like never got myself into a sticky situation, but I wouldn't go as crazy with as me with the shopping. Even if you are wealthy, I don't think you need as many bags as I have. But for me, it's kind of become a, a, a guilty hobby. And that's why I made a YouTube channel so I could kind of share with you guys what I learned from different handbags I purchased and that sort of thing. I mean, I, I think in a way I used it for maybe a um, beneficial way. Um, they're not completely just wasted sitting on my shelf while I'm at work because honestly, guys, I don't use most of my bags. Um, I literally just work and I don't really even use my bags. So they're just sitting there for me when I go home and then I can share them with you guys. And yeah, I'm not sure why I do it. I'm not sure why I collect handbags, but I think it, to a degree, sadly, is to give me that little instant kick of happiness, which I think a lot of people fall into that trap. So, yeah, I, I don't know, guys. Like, I don't know if I can keep it up for much longer, but knowing me, um, I'm an all or nothing person, so... And I just put a bit of powder on to kind of blend in all my concealer. And this is a mineral foundation. It's Bella Pierre. Sorry, it's a bit dirty. Probably has foundation on it. And I am using the color Ivory, which is like the second lightest color. There was a period where I was wearing the wrong color, guys, because I used to be really quite tanned, but I didn't get much sun recently. I guess from the lockdown as well. I probably didn't go out as much. And... Yeah, I just could have put a light layer of that on. And I feel like all those, like, um, all that stuff I put on the base of my face, like all those serums and things, really help with, um, kind of making this go on so it's not as dry. Because I feel like some people find mineral makeup to be really drying, but because I put all those kind of oils and things on my face, it kind of just, um, melts in pretty easily. And this foundation is actually really cheap it's only like 40 dollars or something i think i spend more money probably on the concealer part and i try i mean i was putting more things under my eye bag areas but sometimes i find that if i put too much here it kind of 
takes up and it doesn't look good. Anyway, guys, as I said, I'm not a makeup artist, so this is not my best. Don't follow me for makeup tips. I'm just showing you guys what I do. Yeah, um, what else was I talking about? Oh, yeah, you guys are probably wondering if I got my eBay refund back. Well, I actually did. So when they double charged me, um, I got the payment back just yesterday, which was good. So I was worried I would be down an extra $2,000 and have nothing for it. But it's actually really funny because I got kind of scammed on eBay again just yesterday. <laughs> Believe it or not, guys. Oh, I'm using a Too Faced palette. I'm just using this color here. Sometimes I just use my finger to like dab it in because I think it looks good. So I got scammed on eBay again because I purchased something prior to this previous um blunder recent blunder and i i honestly think i was an idiot for um going through with it because it was like a it was an hermes coat and in the photos they had like an authentic hermes coat <coughs> with the tags and everything and they had it at seven hundred dollars um or and make an offer I'm just gonna blend this out because, yeah. So yeah, they had $700 or best offer. So I offered $500 and I thought, wow, I've just got a Hermes coat for $500. Like, am I an idiot, guys? Of course I didn't win an Hermes coat, but like, you know how much an Hermes coat costs? Thousands, guys. Like, you think the bags are expensive? I mean, probably the bags are probably really on par. You'd be surprised, guys. You can get some really well-made, ready-to-wear for a similar price as the, the bags. The bags are really... Anyway, I, for some reason, I thought, oh, yeah, legit. But when I got the coat, it was a different coat, guys. <laughs> and it didn't even have an Hermes tag on it. So I put forward a case with eBay and said I got... I received a, a fake item and then they... the seller accepted the return because obviously they know that it's fake and now i have to send it back so yeah that's that another ebay scandal imagine it was an hermes coat guys like that would have been next level i think i must be i don't know what was going on with me that day when i when i thought that was authentic like seriously like that's that's never going to happen guys i can't find my eyeliner So I've just put on a bit of like eyeshadow just here and here and I like to go in with the Chanel Brown eyeliner. I used to do really like thick eyeliner but I found that my eyes sometimes get really watery and it just go, becomes weird so I prefer to do more of a smudgy look. So I just go with the brown and I kind of just go at the end like that and it kind of looks a bit more blended in with the eyeshadow. I just do this. Yeah, the brown just looks more natural, I thought. Sometimes less, less is more. And then sometimes I just put a little bit just at the end as well. That's like all. That's about all that I do. And yeah, it's really hard to cover this. I don't know why that's always there. I need to get some sort of like a laser on it or something. <laughs> put some more concealer on it. See what that... Ugh. Yeah. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so eBay. Um, I want to buy some bag shortening clips on eBay because you know when you buy a wok and you want to shorten the chain you can buy those on ebay so honestly guys i think i am going to order that off ebay because they're only like seven dollars and the lower risk but um 
in terms of big ticket purchases, I think I'm done, guys, with eBay. I can't deal with it anymore. And also, guys, I just have way too much, like, stuff now. I think I need to stop. All right, I'm going to use this Chanel eyebrow stuff. So I need to get my eyebrows done today as well. I'm probably just going to go in and um, get them threaded and maybe um, get it tinted as well. I don't do much with my eyebrows, to be honest. I just kind of color it in a little bit. So it looks a little bit more um, defined. Oh, well, sorry, guys. Got low battery. Oh, my gosh. You guys are probably thinking, like, Jess, your hair is just all over the place. And it is, guys. It's because I just washed it. Um, And then I just used the other side, and I just... And I'm just going to go and use my mascara. This is Chanel again. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes, but I think I'm too lazy. Just like a little bit of something. I feel like the eyeliner in itself is kind of like bought out my eyes. And the other day, I got this, um, bronzer, which I don't usually use, but I thought I'd try it. Um, so we'll try that. Oh, and I don't really have a lip. Oh, I do have a lip here, do I? This Sephora lip stuff later, because that's the only one that I have right now. Hmm, so it's like a, well, <laughs> It's like a bronzer thing. So I'm just gonna try that. It might just give my eye, my face something interesting. Oh yeah. Might have done something. I'm just doing this. And I'll put the pink part on the top. Yeah, I think that did do something. It gave me some sort of kind of like dewy look. Yeah, it's the hair guys that's making me look like crap. Okay, so I'm gonna put that away. Quite happy with that. I'm just gonna put on a bit of lip. So this is more like glossy. And also with my hair, I started using, um, when I traded, when I actually purchased that brown Chanel bag, um, the vintage one from that girl, she gave me some argoid oil. So I've just been using a bit of that in my hair and I think that really helps. We'll just use that on the end and it smells like this one smells like baby powder which is nice sometimes i run it through my give myself a scalp massage as well because i've been getting a really um like a really dry scalp lately i don't know why so and then for my hairbrush i like to use oh my gosh a tangle teaser because it's just easier and i have I honestly have pretty fine hair, so it's not that fun to look at to be honest, but it's, it's very straight. I, I don't have any anything going on with my hair, it's literally just a dead straight, flat, thin hair. Oh my gosh, so tangly. Okay, I'm gonna put some more oil on this so it's not as intense. Do you guys ever 
ever think that you'll find purse piece? Because, like, I'm just not sure. Like, I don't know if I ever stop buying handbags. Like, I'm thinking I'll just get sick of it one day. And I find that, like, in times where I'm just bored, I just default look at handbags. And maybe in the past I used to do something else. Like, when I was, like, 12, I used to just play Neopets or something instead if I was bored. And I used to actually scroll a lot on Netaporter and um, other online websites, or even ASOS, and I don't really do that anymore. Instead, I look at designer bags. So I think I will reach a point where I'm kind of just over it, and I want to, I don't know, just look at other stuff, or maybe stop shopping, <laughs> just kind of do something else to fill the void, I don't know. I'm not sure if I'm filling a void. I think I just, like, I am pretty busy, so... I think I just need to make myself busier so I don't really shop too much. Because actually guys, shopping takes time and finding good deals and everything. I think my dream job would be to be like a personal shopper. Because then I could just shop all the time for other people and I could find... I like the kind of thrill of fun, like finding something. So yeah, I think my dream job would be something like that for like a designer personal shopper for someone wealthy or even like you know like Gab Waller or something like that would be such a cool job honestly anyway guys I think I'm gonna just um I'm gonna go dry my hair I might just let, let it dry naturally and I need to get a haircut later so I hope you enjoyed this get ready with me video I wouldn't say I look like great to be honest but um, sometimes just a little bit of makeup can improve your face a little bit and cover up any little blemishes. So yeah, and I just wanted to show you what I usually do. I will probably wear this makeup every day. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!